Hello! In this video, we're going to be discussing the difference between dual and single capacitors. And quite simply, a dual capacitor is simply two capacitors in one. Now, in our capacitor video series, we've already established that a capacitor is simply an electrical storage device. You can think of it like a warehouse that fills up and empties out with electrons very quickly. If you have a single capacitor, you have one warehouse. But if you have a dual capacitor, like this one, you have two warehouses. Now, typically in a dual capacitor, one warehouse will be quite a bit larger than the other one. For instance, in this one, if we look at the microfarad rating, it says that it's a 30 plus 5 microfarad capacitor. That means one warehouse is rated at 30 microfarad, the other at 5 microfarad. So we have a warehouse that is six times larger than the other one. So how do you know which one you have? Do you have a dual or do you have a single? Well, there's two quick, easy ways to tell which you have. The first one is to look at the microfarad rating on the capacitor. The microfarad rating will usually be designated by a UF or an MFD. And if you look like on this one, we have a 5 microfarad capacitor. If you have just one microfarad rating, you have a single capacitor. If, however, you have two microfarad ratings, such as this one I mentioned was 30 plus 5, then you have a dual capacitor. Another quick easy way to tell though, just by looking at the capacitors, is to count the wiring terminals on top. Now not the terminals themselves, but the sets of terminals. On this single capacitor we have one, two sets of terminals on top. On a dual capacitor we have three sets of terminals. We have one, two, three sets of terminals on top. So very quickly you can look at your capacitor and if you have two sets of terminals, you have a single. If you have three sets of terminals, then you have a dual. And this brings us to the question of why do HVAC manufacturers pick a single or a dual capacitor to put into their, uh, their furnace or their air conditioner? Well, if you open up most furnaces, you'll find that the blower motor has a single capacitor on it. And that's because the furnace only has one device that needs a capacitor, so you get the single. On an air conditioner, however, you have two devices that need a capacitor, the fan motor and the compressor. And so most manufacturers have found that it's easier to put in one dual capacitor to uh, power both of those devices than it is to put in two single capacitors into the system, one for each device. Now when you're replacing these capacitors, remember, if you have a single capacitor and you pull the wires off and you don't know where they went, it's not a big deal at all because they're reversible. If you have two wires, one wire on this terminal, one wire on this terminal, and you took them off and switched them, it wouldn't make any difference at all to the motor. You would run just fine. But with a dual capacitor, you typically have stamped here, right next to each uh, terminal set, a name, such as HERM, FAN, and C on your capacitors. And those are universal labels that get stamped into the capacitor. And it is important to get the wires on the right one. FAN, of course, powers the FAN motor on your air conditioner. HERM is for the hermetic compressor or the compressor in your system and C is like that adjoining wall between the warehouses that works with both of the, uh, the fan motor and the compressor. So it is important to get on a dual the right wires on the right ones while the single is reversible. Now you may also be wondering, can half of your capacitor fail? In other words, can the power, half that powers the uh, compressor fail while the fan motor half is still working properly? And the answer is yes, that can happen. And it can happen vice versa. But typically, whenever one half of the capacitor fails, something has gone wrong inside, and within a week or two, the other half is going to fail as well. <clears throat> you just want to replace the whole dual capacitor whenever replacing a capacitor. Now, if the worst does happen, and your capacitor fails, and you're hot, it's 90 degrees outside, remember, come to North America, HVAC.com, and we carry a wide selection, a complete selection, of all capacitors, both single and dual, all microfarad ratings, all voltage ratings. And we keep our capacitors in stock and we also offer overnight shipping options. So we do everything we can to make sure that you can get your capacitor as quickly as you can and get cooling again. So remember, visit us at NorthAmericaHVAC.com or if you need help finding your capacitor, you can drop us an email at info at NorthAmericaHVAC.com and we'll have someone respond to you just as quickly as we can. If you want something quicker than that and you happen to be during work hours, go to our website and click the live chat button in the top of the screen. It will connect you directly to an operator who can not only look up your capacitor, but send you a link directly to the one that you need so you can purchase it. 
Just remember to have the part number of your capacitor handy or the brand and model number of the unit that the capacitor came out of so that they can look it up. We appreciate the opportunity to earn your business and hope you have a great day.